This is part two of my video series, The Most Powerful Black Gay Man in Hollywood. If you haven't seen part one, watch it after you finish watching this video. Stay tuned. Stephen Canals, an Afro-Latino, is the co-creator of Pose. Pose was the first TV show to center trans narratives and multiple trans characters, as well as black, Latin, and gay voices. Janet Mock and Our Lady J, both trans women, wrote for the show. The show gave us some iconic moments and won four Emmys, 36 awards, and received 125 nominations at various award shows. Stephen inked a deal with ABC for a new drama series. Before Terrell Alvin McCraney made one of the greatest black gay movies of all time, he was a celebrated playwright. His stage play in Moonlight, Black Boys Look Blue, became the movie Moonlight. I could watch Moonlight 20,000 times and fall in love each time. The cinematography, the acting, the character development, it is truly magic. He created and writes for the TV show David Makes Man on OWN, which centers non-binary, gay, and trans stories. He also wrote High Flying Bird, a Netflix original starring Andre Holland from Moonlight. He was the executive producer for a short film titled Buck, about crystal meth addiction in the black gay community. I saw it at Outfest Film Festival right before the pandemic. It is a haunting yet necessary film. Ain Joseph was a senior director of development at MTV and VH1, where he developed specials, pilots, and series. Prior to working at Viacom, he spent four years at Hot Snakes Media. Before leaving, he was named VP of Development. At Hot Snakes, he worked on Breaking Amish, Return to Amish, Escaping Alaska, and The Sisterhood, Becoming Nuns, as well as projects for Bravo, VH1, Lifetime, WeTV, OWN, and BET. In July, he moved to Hulu as the director of Unscripted Series. The last unscripted series that he worked on at VH1 was VH1's My True Crime Story, which is narrated by Remy Ma. George C. Wolfe is more known in the theater world. However, he directed Ma Rainey's Black Bottom and is set to direct Rustin about the life of Bayard Rustin for Netflix. Bayard Rustin will be played by Coleman Domingo. Higher Ground Productions, owned by former President Barack Obama and former First Lady Michelle Obama is producing the project. He also directed The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks, Nights at Rodanthe, and Lackawanna Blues. He received an Emmy nomination for Lackawanna Blues. Ben Corey Jones is a writer and producer. He co-created the new Boomerang series for BET. Lena Waithe and Halle Berry are the executive producers. He wrote one episode for the new show, Games People Play, and serves as a consulting producer for the show. He served as an executive story editor on Insecure and was a writer on Underground. He is currently writing on an HBO project developed by Viola Davis's production company. He also wrote for ABC's Chasing Life and Amazon Prime's original Hand of God. Now this might seem like an odd choice for the list, but the people behind the scenes are equally as important as the ones out in front. La Roche is one of the top stylists in Hollywood. You might know Law from judging on Legendary or on America's Next Top Model. I first heard of Law after he transformed Celine Dion into a fashion icon. Law also has been the longtime stylist for Zendaya and Anya Taylor-Joy. Law made history as being the first black stylist named Stylist of the Year by Hollywood Reporter magazine. Law's current client roster includes Demi Lovato, Mary J. Blige, Tom Holland, Tiffany Haddish, and Anne Hathaway.
La worked in the costume department on the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air reunion and the movie Malcolm and Marie. For the 2021 Met Gala, Roach styled 10 celebrities, including Alton Mason, Kalani, and Hunter Schaefer. Law's first celebrity client was Kanye West. Jason Bolden is one half of the black gay couple behind JSN Studio and the Netflix show Styling Hollywood. His client list includes Michael B. Jordan, Cynthia Erivo, Yara Shahidi, Amanda Gorman, Trevor Noah, Janet Mock, and Ava DuVernay, just to name a few. RuPaul has amassed a fortune as an executive producer for the Drag Race Empire. We saw the expansion of the series with Drag Race España, Drag Race Down Under, and Drag Race Italia. RuPaul is also the producer on Queen of the Universe and was the producer on AJ and the Queen, which he co-created and starred in. RuPaul also produced the Trixie and Katya show on Viceland. It was just announced that RuPaul created a new drag race show called The UK vs. The World. Next year, we will get Drag Race Philippines and Drag Race Compton, which I can't wait for that one. His net worth is $60 million. Billy Porter doesn't sleep because he has been booked and busy. He is directing What If About a Trans Girl in High School. It comes out next year. He will voice Audrey 2 in the movie Little Shop of Horrors, which is in pre-production. He is voicing a character in the reboot of The Proud Family. He appeared in Cinderella, voiced a character in the animated TV series Fairfax, and served as a narrator for the short film Smoke, Lilies, and Jade, based on the story by black gay poet Richard Bruce Nugent. The project was directed by black gay husbands DeAndre and Quincy. Thanks for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writer Vic Yates for more about my art and literary projects. Also in the comment section, let me know who surprised you on the list, who should be on the list, and any up and coming black gay movers and shakers in Hollywood. If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel, like and share this video. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.